joined now by John Hosking and Doug McIntyre, two legends in the theater world. <laughs> and what I love about this, you guys have a really fun and exciting show coming up. So, John, let's start with you. Tell us a little bit about your theater background, and then we'll get into this Sherlock Holmes curious case here in just a moment. Okay, the quick version. Uh, went, got my first theater degree at MSU, uh, worked with Ben Tone, um, worked in Virginia City with Judy Faree, uh, and eventually started a theater in Montana called the Vigilante Theater Company that toured the region for 33 years. Wow. Um, was in the first, first company of Shakespeare in the Parks. Wow, 1973? 75. This is 1975, That wow. was the first one with the big set and two whole shows that <laughs> went on tour. There were smaller things before that. Um, yeah, and now I do shows at the Ellen, I do shows uh, at the Black Box for Shakespeare in the Parks uh, in the winter, and um, that's going to be enough. And we saw you last <laughs> year doing Death of a Salesman. Death of a yes, Salesman, so yes. absolutely no stranger to the Black Box Theater. No. Um, Mr. Doug McIntyre, tell us a little bit about your background as well. Well, I am a Montana native, mm -hmm. uh, but I went to school in Washington, and that's where I got my theater degree. Uh, and by a curious set of circumstances, uh, started working with symphony orchestras, oh, wow. creating educational programs. And my partner and I have created a series of concert programs that are done with orchestras throughout the world. Incredible. But uh, I also <laughs> have kept, we both, she is an MSU grad, and uh, uh, we uh, kept in touch, and I worked with John in Virginia City years ago, and can predate him for Shakespeare in the Parks because I was in the 1974 Where company. You there you go. Oh my and goodness. Then, uh, in 75. <laughs> so I've, and then years beyond that, directed a lit for them, and now actually um, uh, write and direct the uh, spring tour for Shakespeare in the Parks, the Montana Shakes program. I love that. We just did a big story about them on Monday, so of course, Shakespeare in the Parks, no stranger to us. No. But now I want to fast forward, and now you're back at MSU, your old stomping grounds, <laughs> and this is a really wonderful show. Let me see if I got the title right. Sherlock Holmes and the Curious Case of the Christmas Carol. Yes, is that right? You got it. Now, you're also taking this to old-timey live radio theater with the door slamming and the footsteps <laughs> and the Foley sound effects. So tell us about a Montana playwright who wrote this, this show, and tell us about how you got involved with this. Well, you've done a number of shows with Bruce, and you've done Sherlock Holmes a number of times for his script. I have. This will be the fourth Sherlock Holmes script that, writ that I've been in that Bruce has written. One in Virginia City, two for the Vigilante Theater Company, and now a radio show. One of them for the, Virginia's, for the Vigilante Theater was a, a mini operetta, I kind of <laughs> wow. say it. But uh, Bruce will also be playing live accompanying music, and uh, it's professional Foley artists doing all the sound effects coming up to Reynolds Hall while we do the show. So each show will be uh, like a live radio cast with an audience, um, only it won't be on the radio. It will just be being recorded for hopefully some future Radio time. purposes, yeah. yes, right. absolutely. Right. Now this is December 20th through 23rd, so right before the actual Christmas holiday happens at Reynolds Hall. How can we get tickets? How can we experience this ourselves? I believe the best way to get tickets is through Cactus. Yeah. Cool. I think that's where they're selling Cactus most Records, the you can also get that cactusrecords.net, I do believe, is mm -hmm. their website, so you can get them online. Um, what can we see? What can we expect? Obviously, <laughs> it's going to be all the fun live sound effects, but what else can we expect from the show? Well, it's it's actually going to be quite an adventure for us yeah. because uh, we, we there are so many different things you have to be aware of. In fact, we were having some big discussion the other day about wearing what's called heel hush. <laughs> heel hush? Heel hush. Okay. You put this on your shoes so that if you're moving between microphones, you're not oh. making foot noise because the foot noise must come from the Foley artist. Wow, so I never to, thought about that. You have to have all of these, yeah, I mean, <laughs> me either. Me, me either, yeah. So now, how much noise will a script moving make? Oh right, my you know, goodness, how, I love you know, the, uh, In fact, one of the actors was saying that they used to, when they do a radio, they would, they would have the scripts, and because they didn't want to make any page noise, they would just, oh, just do a page it. and just, just drop it. it over your shoulder. Just toss it. So I don't think we'll do that or we'll have Pages everywhere. Yes, everywhere, everywhere, um, everywhere with everyone. But in the another cast. thing that, again, I've not heard yet, but Bruce is also, he's quite a musician and he's writing uh, advertising jingles. Wow. 
um, you know, oh, absolutely. like in the old time, like you hear right. it. Right, but they will be for Bozeman businesses who are actually oh, I love that. supporting the program. Well, I hate and to say it because I could chat with you fellows all morning, but we <laughs> must go to commercial okay. break. Doug and John, thank you so much for being here with us this morning, December 20th through the 23rd, up on campus. Go check out the Sherlock Holmes and the Curious Case of the Christmas Carol. We're back in just a few moments. Stay with us. Thanks.